Uh, we cannot tell where that gunfire is coming from. We they could be involved with the fire, but we don't know. So we're just uh, stay behind your apparatus. All other units incoming stop short. That emergency responder radio traffic gives you an idea of how chaotic it was last night when a house exploded outside of Middleton. The home had ammunition in it, and authorities believe that's what was going off after the explosion. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Amber Knockle. And I'm Brandon Taylor. And tonight we learned a second body was found after the explosion and fire in the town of Springfield. Two people are dead after that house exploded outside of Middleton. 27 News has had crews on the scene since the explosion late last night. Grace Olch is out there now, and she has you covered on what authorities have shared from their investigation. Grace. Amber, Brandon, the scene is much different here than it was 24 hours ago. I got here last night shortly after the explosion happened, and all you could really see was a huge plume of smoke. Now, it's definitely still smoky out here, but it is nothing compared to what it was last night. And crews were out here all night working to fight that fire, and still today, well into the day, they were taking precautions. Our investigators to get in and find out what's happening, the scene has to be safe and the fire partners are doing a fantastic job of doing that right now. Sheriff Calvin Barrett says their investigation is still active as first responders work to figure out what caused the house explosion. So there's a collaborative effort that's coming together to ensure that we understand exactly what happened here uh, and find some closure for the family. Neighbors say at first they were confused more than anything, not expecting the boom they had just heard to be one of their neighbors' homes. The whole road was fire trucks and police officers. That was that was quite the shock. Neighbor Aaron Shelton says he didn't hear the boom itself. Shelton says he was woken up by police in his bedroom trying to wake him and usher him out of his home. We got up, got up, got out here, saw what was going on, took a look at what was in the ring doorbell, uh, and you could see what had happened. This is the video from Shelton's ring camera capturing the moments the house went up in flames. Shelton says at that point, the only thing he felt was concern for his neighbors. But police ushered neighbors out of the area to make sure everyone stayed safe while fire crews fought the fire. Shelton says he went to stay with family, also in Middleton, until he got the all clear around 4 o'clock Wednesday morning. So I ended up back here this morning about 5 o'clock, and I'd say about 5 o'clock, you could definitely still see the haze as you were coming out this direction. Sheriff Barrett says investigators will continue to work to determine the cause of this explosion. Things got to a bit of a slower start today because crews wanted to make sure that this scene was safe before sending any investigators up towards the home. Live in the town of Springfield, Grace Alch, 27 News.